Another question we get is, what do real estate attorneys do for buyers? I presume this is in the residential context, so we'll, we'll talk about if you're buying a home. So a real estate attorney is going to first negotiate and review the contract that you're going to enter into with your seller. In some states, the, the realtors may actually prepare the contract. In other states, the lawyer has to prepare the contract. So that's in the preparation of the contract. Then they're going to review the contract, uh, ultimately, once the seller has made their changes and signed it, and the buyer signed it, to make sure that the contract is, in fact, enforceable. Then this, the, the real estate attorney is going to make sure that the earnest money is deposited uh, to the appropriate escrow agent. Uh, if, in fact, the real estate attorney, the buyer's attorney, is also the escrow agent of the title company, they will take the deposit and they'll hold it. Next thing that will happen is, as a buyer, you will be issued a title insurance commitment by the title company, whether it's a title company that's owned by the attorneys or a separate title company, and they will review the title commitment to see if title is clean, to make sure that what you're buying is, in fact, what you're getting. And if there are problems, they will outline what those problems are, and they will contact either the seller's attorney or the seller's realtors and say, hey, these problems have to be resolved. You got these outstanding mortgages, you have these outstanding liens, you have these outstanding uh, tax issues, either with the IRS or back taxes that haven't been paid, and you'll confirm how, in fact, these issues will, will get resolved. Then if the buyer is getting a mortgage, there may be some discussion that the buyer's attorney has with the mortgage company or may review the mortgage commitment to make sure that, it, that it's conventional and, and is consistent with, with market standards. And then through the process, uh, if anything pops up, uh, whether a lien or any other issue that, that, that comes up, uh, the attorney is going to be there to jump in and, and help resolve the, the problem to get, to get the deal done. There could be a tenant in the, in the, in the building. Uh, there could be some liens that, that need to be addressed, some easements that have to be addressed. There could be some survey issues where the survey is not surveyed properly. There could be a legal description issue where the legal description is not consistent with the prior title policy. There are all these kinds of things that, that, that just kind of percolate up from time to time. And so having an attorney who represents you uh, as a buyer is, is probably peace of mind, especially if you A, do this profession for a living, or if this is a once in a lifetime or one of the big investments of your life, you should have a real estate attorney by your side.